The Student Center is gearing up for a facelift that will take a few years to complete. Some small changes have already been made. New furniture is being purchased for the lounge and study areas on the upper floors, and new furniture and trash cans have been placed on the patio outside the food court. Some students say the upgrades make them want to keep coming back. There's more furniture, and before there wasn't that much at all, so no one was really out here. Some people probably didn't even know you could come out here, um, but now it's a lot nicer, it's a lot better. I think more people will come. Student Center Director Jack Raymond says food options will also be changing. For example, Papa John's will replace the Pizza Hut. That's happening, I believe, this summer. Um, we're also going to upgrade, I think, the Mexican concept because uh, certainly after a period of time, whether it's Pizza Hut or whether it's a Mexican concept, if you've been eating it all year, it's kind of run its course and it's nice to have something new. Students are encouraged to voice their thoughts on improving the Student Center. We've had some fun ideas like a uh, laser tag arena, <laughs> you know, uh, a paintball uh, facility. Raymond says he wants to make LBJ a state-of-the-art facility where everyone wants to be. I want it to be a building that is kind of a crown jewel of campus. I want it to be a building that students are just, they just want to be here, you know, at night, on the weekend. Um, I want it to be a building that parents walk into with their kids when they're thinking about coming to school here and go, wow, this place is awesome. The university wants students to be involved in talks and the creative process so together they can make the LBJ Student Center what it could be. More talks are going to be held this month. For Bobcat Update, I'm Daniel Kittrell. Many Texas State students are unaware of some of the facilities that the campus has to offer. Located in the New Oasis building on North LBJ, Coffee Cats offers a variety of services. Laminators and basic printers are available, or students can upgrade to the high-speed production printers that create quality documents in either black and white or color. Luke Keeley has taken full advantage of the resources since learning about Copycat. I'm a regular, probably weekly, whenever I have a project to usually come here. When it comes to the copy and copycats, students can choose from a wide range of white, color, or specialty papers. Color copies start at just 35 cents. Copycat's price menu is affordable for any college student's budget, and that money isn't going to waste. Copycat reinvests its proceeds back into programs and facilities that matter to Texas State. In addition to the office services and supplies, Copycat provides business services for students. We have a mail service, they can just drop the mail off here and we can, we'll take it down to the post office for you. And also we have, a, we can do postage, we sell stamps and, and uh, envelopes and we can meter packages and stuff like that. Copycats is also available to students who are off campus. Visit the Copycats webpage to access its online ordering system. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jordan LaCroix. Mama's Kitchen is a Texas State tradition that started about seven years ago. Student Affairs Assistant Vice President Sherry Ben says she and her staff turned a friendly interaction of students enjoying a home-cooked meal in their office into what is now known as Mama's Kitchen. It is now an event open to anyone. The purpose of the event is for students to come together just around a hot cook meal to fellowship and just to connect with their fellow Bobcats while faculty and staff serve them hot food. Mama's Kitchen celebrates Texas State's diversity. Slideshows highlighting cultural information are presented, focusing on specific groups on campus. Texas State students can take a break from on-campus dining halls and enjoy a free meal at Mama's Kitchen. Mama's Kitchen can serve as a stepping stone for some Texas State students to experience a taste of other cultures while reminding others of a home-cooked meal. The underrepresented Student Advisory Council and the organizations it represents set up in Mama's Kitchen with hopes of gaining new members. I'm, I'm happy that we had a lot of new members come in and that I'm hoping some people saw this, got picked up a flyer or two, and um, that they'll come to our next meetings and just see what we're about. The next Mama's Kitchen will be held April 3rd in the Quad. For Bobcat Update, I'm Yolise Arroyo.